So today I'm going to talk about more questions I've had uh, from my channel. Um, I've got quite a few videos out there, so a lot of people see older videos that I forget I even put up and they have questions. But this one actually came from um, the other day we were talking about gas, alcohol, I'm starting to carry a stove again. And I get this question quite a bit. People are saying it's such a hassle to carry these little canisters. Say you're going to go on a short trip somewhere and uh, you're going to fly. You can't carry your canister and you can't ship it through the U.S. mail. Well, that's not true. So it is a hassle. Uh, it's called bureaucracy, but, you know, the... the uh, Domestic mail manual is 50,000 pages. It's kind of like the Constitution or any holy book. Everybody that reads it gets a different interpretation and uh, is a different religion. So the domestic mail manual, sometimes you have to teach your postmaster that this is allowed. And... Uh, if you go in there armed with some information, sometimes you can get them to agree with you. A lot of times you can't. It is a hassle. And so uh, it's publication 52. You could even take a copy of that in with you. It explains the whole thing. You can ship bear spray. You can ship uh, your small butane uh, containers in the mail it just has to go ground and uh, it has to have an um, ORM-D um, ground only printed on it you can even get a label they should have labels there to put on that package so that make sure it doesn't fly and goes ground and I've done it many times and most every time I've had a hassle so just as an example um, my postmaster, who was a good friend of mine, uh, I took it down to her one day and, and she said I couldn't ship it, you know, because the first thing they ask you, is there anything in here, fragile, explosive, liquid, you know, whatever, and, and you have to say, yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, then all the red flags go up and they say you can't do that, but you can do that. So what I did, I couldn't convince her uh, even though I told her, I said, you know, I come in here every day and spend my hard-earned money. I said, if it weren't for me, you know, the post office would have lost $5 billion last quarter instead of just two. <laughs> anyway, what I did, I tried it a different way. So I ordered bear spray and I ordered canisters at the time on Amazon and I had it shipped to my P.O. box. And uh, when I went to pick it up and she shoved the box across the counter to me, I shoved it back and I said, now I'd like to send this on to West Glacier, Montana, because I was going to Glacier backpacking. And she said, what's in it? And I said, gas and bear spray. <laughs> I said, you know, you know me and you won't let me do it, but oh, Jeff Bezos, who's a billionaire, you'll let him do it. And... Uh, so anyway, that's how I got that box shipped out there. But let me tell you, when I got to West Glacier, so I fly into Kalispell, hitchhike up to West Glacier, just got my backpack. I don't want to carry a box around. So I go to the post office, get my box, open it right there in the post office, and the postmaster sees me, and she says, what is that? And I said, it's uh, propane and, and uh, canister and, and bear spray. She said, you can't do that. And I said, yes, I can. I said, read, uh, you know, publication 52 in the domestic mail manual. You know, it's on page 4,492. <laughs> and uh, she said, well, I can guarantee you, you won't ship that back out of here and you won't ship it out of any post office in this area. And I said, okay. So when I did leave, I wasn't going to ship it anyway. I gave it to some kids from Sweden who were just starting up into the bush and they didn't have any bear spray anyway it is a hassle but it's very doable it's very legal and all you have to do is uh, take in i could say publication 52 of the domestic mail manual look it up 
Uh, I wouldn't go to a website and get somebody's information and, and show them that. I would show them the actual domestic mail manual uh, language and what you have to do to ship gas, ship bear spray. And uh, I, I guess if you can't get it done at your post office, keep trying until you get somebody that, you know, do a little homework. Anyway, so much for that one. Um... This one's about weight, and you know, I just talked about putting my pack on over my head, and I got a lot of comments about people, yeah, we'll try that with 44 pounds, or you know, I've got too much stuff hanging off my pack. Well, the you know, the too much stuff hanging off your pack problem, I call that a Dolly Parton uh, pack. So, Dolly Parton, uh, her dad. She's always wearing tight dresses, and her dad always used to say to her, according to her, you're trying to pack 20 pounds of mud in a five-pound sack. Well, that's what you're trying to do if you've got too small a backpack and too much gear. You either have to get rid of some gear or get a bigger backpack. You know, it, it's that simple. Um, Dolly will tell you. So much for that. Okay, Thermarest. Okay, so I did a, a, a video on Thermarest and showed you, I have an Uber light. I'm on my third one, and it's popped at the seams, and you get a big, uh, you know, bubble in it as two or three seams come together. I've seen them even worse. And yes, that does happen, you know, but it, Thermarest, in my case, has always been great customer service, has always stood behind it, have replaced them every time, no questions asked. Basically, they just want me to take a picture of it, mark on it, uh, and put it, they give me a number to mark on it, take a picture of it, send it to them, and they send me a brand new one. And now this last one, I have to say, I've used it uh, on three pretty long trails, Arizona, Colorado, and... Uh, I guess it popped on the Arizona. So halfway through the Arizona Trail, I, I got they, they sent me a new one. Colorado Trail, the Florida Trail. I mean, I put a lot of nights on this thing, and you know I'm careful. I'm I take care of my gear. Uh, I but with this one, I none of my Uber lights have had a puncture. So my my older one that was I can't remember what it's called Xtherm. I don't know. It's 12 ounces, same pad, same size, yellow. A little heavier and uh, that one I you know I use that for years and I would get yeah it looked like a, a cat in a fight I mean I've got patches all over that thing but it still works I'm not giving up my inflatable pad but the uber light has done very well for me this last one hasn't popped yet but I'm confident that if it did thermo rest would uh, stand behind it and I you know Making lightweight materials is not easy and it's not foolproof. So they're kind of pushing the envelope and uh, good for them. And uh, maybe they've had some issues with uh, sealants or whatever keeps those ribs uh, from coming together. But they're working on it. And they've stood behind those that have had a problem with them. And like I say, this last one, I've got a lot of nights on it. I've had absolutely no problem with it. I love the thing. So anyway, nothing's foolproof, but if you get a company that'll work with you, you should have no complaints. Keep smiling.